Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. God bless you. love you so much. I appreciate you joining me today. I want you to know this day that I care. I appreciate you joining in again with me this morning, as I said. And, you know, we're now in the season of uh, celebrating our Lord's birth. We celebrate him because we love him. We celebrate him because he has paid such an awesome price through his being born into this earth and then going through what he's gone through for each and every one of us. So I'm so thankful to the Lord today, again, for his goodness to each and every one of us. But, you know, I want to just share some, some things about our God uh, today. Just want to just even matter of fact, the next few sessions, I'm going to just tell you some things about our God uh, that you can have even greater confidence in him. I know some of these things are common to you. You know them. But I just want to encourage you in them on this day. And one of the things I want you to know is that God is an omnipotent God. He's all-powerful. There's nothing but nothing that can defeat or overcome our God. You know, the Word of God declares that the plans of the Lord, they shall stand. And so nothing can stop his plans, and nothing can stop his plans for you in your life. So I encourage you today, just hear what I'm about to say to you right now from the Word of God. In the book of, uh, in the book of Job, praise the name of the Lord, it says, I'm sorry, not Job, but in Ecclesiastes, a man can do nothing better than to eat and drink and find satisfaction in his work. Now listen to this. This too I see is from the hand of God. For without him, who can eat or find enjoyment? To the man who pleases him, God gives wisdom, knowledge, and happiness. But to the sinner, he gives the task of gathering. Listen to this real well. Listening, he, he says, giving him the task of gathering and storing up wealth to hand it over to the one who pleases God. I want you to know that the power of God is working on your behalf. And so, again, you see in that passage, I want to just point out to you again, a man can do nothing. Listen to this. A man can do nothing better than to eat, drink, and find satisfaction in his work. And so the scriptures, again, what it's telling us, is a blessing from the Lord for you to be able to do that. And it's God himself, hallelujah, that sustains. It's God himself that blesses us. It's God himself that gives the great things to us. You know, he's a giver. And as I said to you earlier, uh, when we first came on, he gave us Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, during this time, is that we celebrate his life, we celebrate his birth, we celebrate the wonderful things that the Lord has done for each and every one of us. I want you to know today that you can walk in the full joy of the Lord, eat, drink, be happy, because you belong to the living God. He loves you so much, and so do I. I care. Mm -hmm.